Bolds has just updated his settings for chapter 6, revealing some brand new Nvidia tweaks that no one's seen before. On top of that, he's recently shared an exclusive look at his setup. But starting off in his video settings, you can see that full screen is used for the lowest amount of input delay. The resolution is native 1920 by 1080 as it's his preference and it's also standard at LAN events. He caps his frame rate at 240 FPS. Also in Windows, he has his refresh rate capped at 240. 40 hertz. His rendering mode is on performance mode because it not only increases visibility but also boosts FPS. Literally every pro uses it as well. When it comes to his meshes, he uses low because they're slightly lower quality which boosts FPS. But not only that, you also get a much clearer breaking animation for when you are taking walls. Similar thing with the textures too. Those are set to the lowest low to get that extra FPS boost. For the brightness, he's using the max 150% to enhance his visibility. This is especially beneficial when it comes to spotting enemies through the storm. Many other pros like Peterbot and Polo also use 150% on the brightness. For colorblind he has this off as from this comparison you can see that there's not really much benefit to using it this season. And for the view distance he's got this set to the lowest which is near. He sees all of this on the BenQ Zowie XL25 46k monitor known for its Dayak technology that reduces motion blur making it much easier to track enemies during fire fast pace fights. For his mouse sensitivity, he is using 6.1% on both the X and Y, 45% on the target earn, and 34% on the scope sensitivity. He aims with the Razer Viper Mini Signature Edition, paired up with a custom graphic mouse pad, which I believe is desk size. As for his mouse DPI, that is set at 800. His pollen rate is set at 1000Hz, even though his mouse is capable of a massive 8000Hz. By the way, if you do want to stay up to date with any pro player settings you can check out my website gamesettings.com it's the best place to find updated pro settings and gear breakdowns all in one spot i'll leave a link in the description below for bold's keyboard movement he does use custom diagonals he actually uses this custom strafe angle which is 70 90 and 135 as for his audio settings he actually uses his sound quality on low and not high which is quite surprising he's also got his 3d headphones disabled and he is using the visualized sound effects setting. Oh, and all the audio is heard via his HyperX Cloud Flight wireless headset. Before this, I believe he was using the DT990 Pros. For his game settings, he's got his toggle sprint on, his auto open doors on, his auto pickup weapons off, his auto sword on, the sable pre-edit option turned on, and his auto confirm edits are on edit, which is basically edit on release. To find the benefits of that, check out this video on screen. He's also got one of his replay settings off, and all of his sleep slash energy saving modes off. As for the simple edit setting which is new, this is to make editing very simple. He currently does not use this setting so has them turned off as it is disabled for tournament play and I'm not sure he's even a fan anyway. He's also got his FOV settings here set to the max which is ideal for tactical sprinting so you can see a lot further. And for his hood settings he's got his reticle ammo indicator off, his damage numbers on cumulative, his feedback off and his hood scale on 60%. As for his keybinds his movement is pretty standard with sprint on left shift, auto run on alt and then and crouch on tab. His reload is on R, his use key is on mouse scroll wheel down, pickaxe is on X, slot 1 is on 1, slot 2 is on 2, slot 3 is on 3, slot 4 is on caps lock, and slot 5 is on V. His wall is on Q, his floor is on mouse button 5, his stairs is on F, his roof is on C, and his trap is on T, with his build and edit being on E. He presses all of these with the Apex Pro Mini White slash Gold Edition keyboard, with I believe the actuation point being on the fastest one, that's 0.1 and I also believe that he is using the rapid trigger setting. Next up we've got his gaming PC specs. For his CPU he's using the i9-14900KS, the Nvidia RTX 4080 Super graphics card and he's got 32GB of RAM. Oh and if you're curious of his mouse grip here you have it on the left hand side. Here is briefly what his setup used to look like quite a few months back I believe if you were curious. Moving on we've got his Nvidia control panel settings which he did actually reveal on stream. You can see he started off with going through all of his 3D settings, which by the way, if you do want to know what each one of these settings actually does, 
you can check out my full tutorial on it, which I'll have a link to below. Next from that, he did briefly show his colours, where you can see his digital vibrance is on 60%, which can massively improve visibility and make the game look a lot more vibrant. Peterbot and Clicks are other pros that also increase this setting. He then goes on to show a few more settings, but most interestingly, he shows his scaling mode, which is on no scaling, which is becoming a more popular choice to minimise input lag. Another thing I've seen more and more pro players do is use the nvidia overclock tool to try it for yourself you need to get the nvidia app where you'll notice a new section called system inside there under the performance section you'll notice a new automatic overclock feature that allows you to overclock your gpu in one single click which nvidia state that once you do enable it they'll perform a scan to test your graphics cards capabilities over the course of 10 to 20 minutes they recommend that you leave your pc idle while this is performed then once the scan has finished and your gpu has has been overclocked you can expect similar results to this on screen where you can see you'll get improved clock speeds and in turn higher fps with minimal risk too as nvidia state that automatic tuning won't damage your gpu nor will it void your warranty the worst thing that can happen really is your pc becoming unstable which if it does you can simply deactivate the overclock by literally just unselecting it moving on from that i want to show you his optimized windows 10 settings which here's proof he is actually using windows 10 you can see from the bottom left corner but to get the best settings you want to go inside the control panel you want to uncheck all four of these right here then if you go into the background applications you want to simply uncheck all these and stop them from running in the background after that in the advanced system settings go under performance then under visual effects you want to adjust for best performance and then tick these essential settings on screen after that i like to go into the device manager under high precision event timer and some people say that if you disable this it can boost your fps it's something you should try and if not just re-enable it i also like to go into the run box and type in temp i then like to select all of these and simply delete them i do this again with percentage sign temp percentage sign and yet again with prefetch also while the game is running i press ctrl alt delete go into the task manager i then find fortnite right click on it go to details then right click on the top exe set the priority from the default normal to high you'll notice as well in the task manager if you look at the very bottom you'll see uptime to your surprise the uptime may be very very high like some of these examples are on screen like some are just ridiculous and this is because of a fast start feature which has become quite the meme so to fix this head into power options click change settings that are unavailable and simply uncheck this option now when you shut down your pc your pc will fully shut down and the uptime will be reset oh if you go into gaming 2 specifically under the game bar you want to ensure that that is turned off as it can give you micro stutters as well in the search if you type type in power plan click edit power plan then change advanced settings you'll notice by default it's on a normal power plan instead you want to change that to high performance which as you can imagine will make it perform at a higher level and that's all for bold settings if it helped out feel free to drop a like and subscribe for more and before you go check out any of my other videos on screen right now